Yes, thank you, Madam President. Uh, dear Ms. Orban, I, I actually read the programme of your presidency, but given this debate, I wonder if you actually read it yourself. Your first priority is strengthening European competitiveness, but at home you give the keys to your economy to China. You plead for stemming immigration, but you open the back door to Russians and you release people traffickers early from jail. You talk about protecting democracy and rule of law in Europe, but you abolish them both at home. You want to combat child sexual abuse, but your government protects the child abusers from prosecution. You talk about cybercrime as a major threat, but you spy on your own citizens with Pegasus. You call for sincere cooperation, but in Europe only resort to blackmail and obstruction and abuse of vetoes. You mention the sovereignty of Ukraine in your program while traveling to Moscow to embrace the aggressor. And many Dutch citizens ask me, why does the EU keep funding such a member state? Why do we keep funding someone who criticizes and obstructs the EU six days a week to only on the seventh day hands up, holds up his hand for some more cash? And the answer is that Hungary is so much more than this government. The Hungarian people already suffer from frozen funds due to the actions of Mr. Orban. And they deserve better and they demand better. And we will stand shoulder to shoulder with the Hungarian people on their way to a sovereign, modern, democratic and European Hungary. Free from the propaganda factories of Mr. Orban and free from the control of his gang of oligarchs. Change is coming to Hungary and even Mr. Orban will not be able to stop it. Thank you. Thank you. Next is Victor Negrescu, Vice President. One minute.